actually no. Champ Champ messaged me um, the other day and said, "Do you have Larry's contact information?" And this was on Facebook. So based on that conversation, I'd like to say that no, he does not have a Facebook. Okay. Anyway, so okay, so we're going into this. Larry mm -hmm. tends to be really good against a lot of these kind of strange characters. Do you see how much damage that fair did in the beginning? Shine, shine. Ooh. That's pretty nasty against Game Watch, both because of his falling acceleration and because of his very light weight. Good weight by Larry to fight. I'm just gonna call him Larry, that's what it says on the screen. That's what everybody calls him. Um, interesting. I kind of like that air dodge that the Phenom just did to cross up Larry. Yeah, it's very interesting. Oh, good roll to... But then he rolled back into his grave there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good yeah, shorn. Game Watch's rolls are really bad, so it's not tri it's tricky to make good use of them. But I uh, avoided Larry's shine grab, though. <laughs> kind of surprised Phenom did it not be after that full shield. He's like, that'll just pretty cleanly beat a shine in terms of when it comes out most of the time. Alright. You know, Phoenix being stuck in the shield a lot. Yeah. That's, I mean, not, that's not where you want to be as Game & Watch. But it's Falco. Yeah. I wonder if we could start absorbing some of those lasers as part of the game plan. Yes, no? Too risky. Um, it, if you... Absorb a laser, Falco gets a free hit on you, I think. Okay. But what if he's like across the screen? Then I suppose you could. I'm not sure how useful Oil Panic would actually be against Falco. I mean, it, it kind of makes them a little bit more cautious as they approach you, knowing that if you had it, like, it could mean death for him. <laughs> Larry actually has really, really good shield drops. Aside from Okami, he probably has. Actually, maybe even over Okami, he might have my favorite shield drops in SoCal. Not necessarily in terms of how much he does them or anything, but in terms of how well he uses them. Yeah, I would agree. I think um, it's very apparent when um, Okami and Sun over-centralize their game around uh, shield drops. Sun they're especially. Like, yeah. They're like, oh, okay, like I know what you're going to do. I'm just going to bait you into it and then hit you. <laughs> oh my god. Larry loves up B-kills off the top. And Game Watch is so light that it's actually... It's actually a viable like that. tactic. Yeah. You'll see him do it against Samus a lot, too. Just put Samus up there and just up the into her. Alright, good choice. Um, prevents the off-the-top kill. Yeah. I don't... The, the only thing I'd be worried about is that Larry is extremely comfortable with a lot of space. Even if, it might, from a matchup perspective, it might make sense. From a player perspective, it might not. Yeah, but what do you what do you do then if, like, it seems like you're damned if you um, do and you're damned if you don't? Maybe go Fountain or something, I'm not sure. This is still probably fine, but... Yeah. The Bacon... I would not do the Bacon against Falco that much. Unlike a lot of characters, he has a very clear, very obvious, easy response to it. Namely, a transcendental projectile. <laughs> what do you mean a laser goes through Bacon? We're seeing it. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's dangerous. Fortunately, um, Phenom was at low enough percentage that it didn't end up spiking. Going. Yeah. I like that recovery option. Yeah. Kind of strange and off-kilter. Good up, he had a shield, actually. Yeah. Like I said, that move is really fast. Frame 2 out of shield option, which is the fastest out of shield option in the game with an asterisk next to it. Oh man. The asterisk being there because Yoshi doesn't have shield stun and sometimes he'll be able to do stuff faster out of shield drops. Right. Can I comment and say that was a really um, well spaced forward smash by Larry to get that previous kill? Um, yeah. I, I personally would like to see Phenom try to squeeze more forward airs in. I feel like that would be something pretty good against Falco. Just like aim around for his head. That seems like something that could potentially work against right. him. In just terms of the matchup dynamics, this match I mean, you have the character with the worst shield in the game, and a character that puts you in shield the majority of the game. Oh, really um, cool grab there. Yeah. And so I feel like that's just a recipe for disaster, though. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, I, if I were Game Watch, I would just be thinking forward air, just because it's super disjointed in front of me. It'll act, it's something that Falco, Falco would actually have to respect a lot. Right. Because as it is, we're just seeing the Phenom dive in with all these neutral airs, and they're just not really working for him. Right. Forward air both comes out faster and reaches farther in front of Game Watch, and has less landing lag, since you can actually L cancel it, since the game doesn't think it's a B move like it does with neutral air. What are these shenanigans? Oh, let's see if he can capitalize on this. No, he gets the shorn. Game Watch is a pretty bizarre character. I feel like he was just programmed by an intern in a day. <laughs> he was like incomplete. Well, yeah, he just, there, there's so much about him that's bizarre. Why is his up B frame one? Uh, why can't. Why are his neutral air, back air, and up air interpreted by the game as B moves that you can't L cancel? Right. Why is his yield so bad? Why are his rolls and tech rolls so bad? This seems like a very poorly thought out character. Like he didn't get the bounce treatment. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that roll by Game Watch is just really slow. I'm not sure what the Phenom was attempting there. Larry was really thirsting for a drill there and you know, okay. why is it covered with the bacon? Yeah. He had a cool down air there, but didn't get anything off of it. Larry wins quite solidly. Good stuff, Larry. You're probably getting first seed in this pool. As Mac the uh